May I speak to the glory of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The way this church year seems to jump about back in Advent, if you remember that long ago before lockdown two, we heard about the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan by John. During the Epiphany season, we celebrated again the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan by John. And now, as we enter Lent, we see yet again the baptism of Jesus by John in the River Jordan. What is going on? But this time, we hear a bit more. This baptism is seen as being the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. And so we see what happens next. Jesus is baptized. And wham, he's led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness straight away, tempted by Satan while he was there. Accounts of Jesus in the wilderness in the other synoptic gospels Matthew, which we heard last year, and Luke, which we will hear next year, tell us much more about these temptations. But here, in Mark's Gospel, we are just told that Jesus was tempted in the wilderness by Satan. I don't know about you, but Lent last year seems a long time ago. My sense of time seems to have stopped around Mothering Sunday when public worship ceased here in Guernsey. Since then, I realise that much has happened. I have vague recollections of a few weeks of us worshipping in small numbers in church before normal worship resumed. I remember popping over to Alderney for a couple of nights last summer. But at the same time, I remain stuck at that point of lockdown. The clock stopped. My plans disappeared. So many things I seemed certain of simply vanished. Last weekend, for example, was the last time I was in the UK popping over for the day to attend a meeting of the Sodality of Mary in Fulham. Popped over. Preposterous. Who could imagine such a thing nowadays? Just nipping over to another island, just nipping over to another country for a few hours. Because since then, everything has changed so much. It feels to me as if we are in a wilderness. It feels to me as if we are confused. It feels to me as if we are stuck, lost, or so it feels. Because everything is not as it was. We together with sisters and brothers all around the world, have been unsettled, uprooted, cast into the wilderness, a wilderness of indetermined time and space. When we entered this wilderness last Lent, we hoped that it might maybe be 40 days, like the 40 days Jesus was in the wilderness. But it continued, even during the latter part of last year when we were not in lockdown, we still were cut off. And so we started to hope it wouldn't be as long as Moses' 40 years in the wilderness, a hope that we continue to have. We do not know when this current lockdown will end, taking us back to how things were at Christmas, let alone knowing when travel will be easy again and we can just pop over to the UK or Jersey or France for the day without a thought. 
we like being in control. And we are so aware now that we are not in control. But back to the gospel reading. We are not told in this account how Jesus was tempted by the devil. But we are told that the angels waited on him. Jesus, in being tempted by the devil in the wilderness, must have felt cut off from God the Father. But in that cut offness, the angels were there. In that desolation, God's messengers were there, keeping watch, bringing God's presence and comfort. The presence of the angels shows that God was not absent, even though everything seemed so desolate. As we continue to journey through this wilderness, longer than 40 days, but surely less than 40 years, may we be assured of God's presence with us, and may we be aware of the angels keeping watch over us too. Just as Lent will end, this wilderness of the pandemic will not last forever. And God is with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.